in my earlier video, I discussed um, dyslexia and how to me it's like a piece of a puzzle or it's a whole puzzle and figuring out um, what parts of the puzzle you need to complete for yourself is what you need to look at. And I'm looking right now at this are the at these red pieces because those are the phonemic awareness pieces of our puzzle. And I wanted to take a tiny bit of time to discuss why that is so integral and what phonemic awareness is. Um, there's a difference between phonics, which is attaching a sound to a letter, and phonemic awareness, which is the ability to hear and manipulate sounds within words. So, um, there are several different ways you can do this. Um, one way is that you can delete a sound. For example, if I say the word and, and I ask you to say the word and without the d, what do you have left? An. Um, or you can add a sound. For example, if I give you the word pan and ask you to add a ul after the p, you would now have the word plan. Um, and also, it um, phonemic awareness deals with changing sounds within words. So if I have the word ten, so t, e, n, and I want to change the middle sound from t, e, n to i, I the new word would be tin, t, i, n. Um, and that was found to be the strongest predictor of reading success. Some people just have the natural ability to do this. My daughter, Emma, had the natural ability to do this. She could add sounds, delete sounds, change, so change sounds at a really early age. My son, Nathan, had difficulty with that. And I started working with him when he was three, and that's why um, in this category, in phonemic awareness, early intervention is actually really important because you want to catch it as early on as you can and correct the difficulty that they're having. So I just wanted to um, add that phonemic awareness piece and what it exactly is. And that's it. Thank you very much. Bye.